We hear a lot this day and age about inequality and justice. We hear people talk about social justice and we have been inundated in our society with social justice warriors. The idea is that if we will just listen to this group or that group, if you will conform to these principles or these ideas or those ideas, then we can have true equity, true justice for all mankind. The problem is that we're oftentimes looking at wisdom from a human standpoint. We're looking at justice and righteousness and equality from a human perspective. And we know the Bible tells us that it's not within man who walks to direct his own steps. The fact is, no matter how good our, our justice system is, it's going to be flawed. No matter what we do in this life, from a human perspective, it's not going to be perfect. That's why God sent his only begotten son to live the perfect life and to, and to express to us his will and his commandments. And we're told in, in Psalm chapter 11 and verse 7 that it is the Lord who is righteous. He loves righteousness and the upright will behold his face. You see, the day's coming when God will judge the world in righteousness. Then we will know true justice, true equity. We'll be able to live with him forever in peace and love in a perfect world. And the only hope that we have is Christ Jesus. It's submitting to his will, following his principles and his guidance and his commands. The closest thing that we will ever have in this life to true equity, to true justice, to true righteousness, is if we submit to the Lord and to his will. Then we can truly know the peace that passes all understanding. And may God bless each and every one of us as we seek his righteousness.